everybody. Salud and welcome to the first, or well, the second, happy hour live on Friday. Yes, I should have brought a coaster. Do I have a coaster in here? Well, anyways, can you hear me okay? I'm here inside the Minitini, the trailer, and as you can probably tell, I have the AC on because it is hot here in Miami. Hello, Kenny Petit. Technology, man. Okay, now I'm, I'm fine. Maybe because I was connected to 4G LTE and now I'm on Wi-Fi. I look kind of bright, don't I? Hey, Andy. Hey, Dustin. Cheers to the weekend. 75 in Duluth. Good temperature for Duluth. Well, it's... I have no idea how hot it is here, but it feels like a hundred. Hi from UK. Hello, Robert from Kendall. All right. Well, hello everybody, and thank you for uh, joining me on this a uh, um, on this Friday. Hello from Brazil. All right, Indiana. Everybody's signing in. Hello. I cannot read your name, but nice to meet you too. Uh, love the music and videos. Thank you very much, uh, Chip. Lisette uh, Lovardia. Hi from the Netherlands. All right, so we got we have people from all over the world, and that's great. And um, right here, I have. Can you see this? No, you cannot see anything. I was hoping to, to be able to celebrate with you guys today our uh, thirty uh, thousand. And I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's always an issue. Can you see me okay? Can you hear me okay? Congratulations. Well, yeah, I was hoping to get to 30,000 subscribers today, but I think I am. it is going to happen probably tomorrow at some point. So maybe I'll go live again tomorrow and we'll have a, we'll have a toast and celebrate. Uh, from New Hampshire and uh, from... Uh, we're watching us from Iraq. All right. Sri Lanka, love your videos. Thank you very much. Boston says congrats. So I have a couple of announcements uh, here before I go into into your hello from Nashville. All right, your video a big squiggly, squiggly baby because I'm I don't know I'm in technology tally. What can I tell you? Let me let me show you a different angle here, so you can see uh, our fancy little trailer here in Miami. And uh, oh, I lost three subscribers just now. Some of you guys are are you guys playing tricks on me? Hey, from Ohio. Well, that's great. And um, actually, before we, we start, let me give you a quick tour of Minitini here, a trailer. As you can see, this is this part you've seen, but we have you haven't seen yet in video is that I removed uh, the TV. We'll call you the Fuzzy Robert. You know what? Uh, <laughs> and what I'm going to do here, I similar to this, they're going to deliver that to me. This is up here. I already have some uh, plugs and uh, 12 volt and and, uh, and 120 volts. I'm gonna do like a little shelf up here, and I'm gonna make like a charging station so I can charge uh, our um, cell phones and all that. And then down here, I'm gonna put like a hanging closet so I can uh, hang some of our shirts and all that good stuff. And yes, I'm coming to you from an undisclosed location here in uh, in Miami, Florida. And uh, I, I, I forget. I wanted to uh, to to tell you guys a couple of things, but I've lost my train of thought. Let me open the window. Is that too bright? Yeah, is that too bright? Yeah, the TV is overrated, and, and for some reason we never used to uh, watch that, that TV. Uh, and in that location, even it's not very good. Actually, the TV is right here. Can you lower it? Your TV most of the time. That's what it usually is. And, uh, maybe I'll get an iPad. I got the, I, I, I've had these two speakers for a very long time, and what I did, I uh, I'm gonna use them as stereo speakers. By the way, there's something here I want to guys show you guys. They sent me. Uh, uh, actually, let me open it up. I'm gonna do the, the, my first live unboxing. Here on the channel, <laughs> and see what it is. It's one of these uh, snorkeling masks with the built-in snorkel, and I was gonna use it a couple of weeks ago at uh, Palm Beach when we went to uh, to Peanuts Island, but 
I think I'm probably too far. I'm probably too far away from um, from the house. Let's see what this looks like. So you see, it's this uh, mask that goes all over your your face. So you can even talk with it. It comes with a with a GoPro attachment on top, which I'm gonna attach my my Sony uh, camera. And I suppose this goes like this. I'm going to try this. I've heard uh, mixed reports about these masks, and um, what I hear is that, uh, that since they hold so much air inside that you have a lot of buoyancy and then this is good me. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah it looks good on me. It's a good look. I mean <laughs> I can't wait to try it. I we, 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 actually we're gonna go next week to the Sebastian Inlet which is by Melbourne Florida. That's our, our next uh, trip. And I think I am going to uh, do work to, to try it there. They, they have a little snorkeling section. I, I forgot to take it to Palm Beach. Can you believe that? I've had it for like a month. You know, they sent it to me. You know, full disclosure, this is a review unit, so I'm not selling it. Uh, they, they sent it to me for free so I could show it on the channel. And so far, I put, just put it on for the first time and it feels pretty comfortable. I'm going to try it on the water next week. This is happy hour, so we should have uh, some beverage. Very refreshing. They don't. Uh, they sell. Uh, by the way, this is Cigar City IPA. It's a high ally. It's made in Tampa, and I discovered it when we visited Tampa in January, and I really like it. It's one of my favorite beers. Now you know what? I forgot to bring a coaster, so I'm gonna put the beer back here. If an alien spaceship landed in your front of your, of your driver, would you have it towed? I would say we come in peace. What will be your next camera purchase? Well, by the way, if you guys asked a question before, ask it again because I was looking at him. My next, I'm, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna buy any cameras for a while. Yeah, it is beer. I'm not gonna buy a camera for a while because last year I purchased uh, that. I, I, I was working for Sony, so I got a discount, so I got the Sony Action Camera, and the year before I got the Sony 4K camcorder, which I'm going to do a video very soon uh, about all my gear and the pros and cons, of because every, not, not, none of them is perfect, all the cameras uh, have something that have so many things that I love and some things that I don't like, like everything in life. You think it's a good season uh, to visit South Florida in October? Yeah, October is good, I mean, you're in smack in the middle of a hurricane season, but they don't really come as often and uh, as, uh, as as the news would lead you to believe, you know. We haven't had anything significant since Wilma and that was 2005 in Miami. I mean, other places, you know, but they, 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 they only hit one place at the same time. What's up, I am looking good. Hey, Jose. So Florida in October is okay. The, the weather is still warm. You can still go to the beach. It's not bad. Have you thought doing daily vlogging? I, I thought about it, but to be honest about it, I don't know if, if you guys can, can tolerate uh, five days a week of me or seven days a week of me. Maybe I'll do uh, live videos. Also, for some reason, you know, the videos have the likes and the dislikes. For some reason, all the live videos always have like seven, eight, nine, ten dislikes. So some people don't like them, which is fine. I cannot please everybody. Are you ever concerned about the weirdos approaching you at night when you're boondocking? It hasn't happened yet. I know. I know it's happened for other people. Uh, I mean, the weirdest place that we stayed at was a Walmart in Okeechobee, Florida, because there were some RVers there. There were people that, that on very old RVs, and they looked like they were like living there permanently. But uh, it wasn't bad. Actually, I have a, a cool, cool anecdote. One night we were a, a boondocking here at the casino, at the Magic City Casino, and it was Halloween night. That was like two and a half years ago. And when we got there, we, there was nobody there. We got there like at, at dusk and we parked. Very nice. We went to the casino. We, we gambled a little bit. You know, they give you like the free money to gamble when it's your first time. And we went back to the RV and all the cars have, had boxed us in in a way that if we had to leave that night, we wouldn't have been able to leave. And then once we went to sleep, people were like partying next to their cars. You know, their conversations all 
all through the night. That was that was another interesting boondocking uh, experience. Also, uh, we boondocked once at a, at a, at a truck stop. Uh, I think it was by Jacksonville. It was it was Christmas. It was uh, it was during actually no, it wasn't Christmas. It was uh, the day before Thanksgiving, and all night they were blasting Christmas music. We couldn't sleep. <laughs> Uh, from the store. I'm an insurance adjuster, remember. Uh, I didn't get the, the previous... Uh, come out oh, here it is. It's awesome. Okay, there you go. Okay, let me start answering other questions. On my way to, from New Hampshire to Nokomis to pick up a Class B. Oh, Nokomis, that's, the, that's in by, by Tampa, right? Uh, what are you getting? Are you getting like like a Blizzard travel van or uh, or something like that? Oh, Montañez! Is it Montañez or Montañez? Saludos from New Jersey, Robert. Next week I'm only I'm on the way down, brother. Hope to catch you on the road someday. But yeah, that's cool. I've been watching a couple of your videos. It's really cool that you are <laughs> that you are RV man and uh, well, you had the trouble with your tires and all that. That was cool. I mean, that wasn't cool, but it's it's cool to to, to get your perspective. Uh, for sure. What's going on with your water heater? Well, I'm happy to inform that in about two weeks I have an appointment at La Mesa RV and I'm going to install a, a Truma Aquago. I'm going, I'm not going with high hopes, but anything is better than, than this piece of crap I have here. So, and the Truma Aquago is supposed to be like the high end unit, top of the line. It doesn't matter what water pressure you have, it'll heat up. At least that's what they claim, and, and that's what I've heard from some people that, that have it. Uh, hurricanes I meant okay yeah hurricane cyclone I'm really behind guys so uh, bear with me here uh, awesome brother thanks love your channel see you soon all right Montañez are you Montañez like Andy Montañez or just Montañez like with ADN we drove to Florida a couple of weeks ago from Canada I watched your videos before heading down get up the videos yeah I, I'm, I'm hoping to start traveling a lot more especially like now in the summer that we're gonna head north eventually would you want to get a bigger RV? Mine is 18 feet, so small too. I love it. Just curious if you want more size. I don't know. Eventually, I, rather than size, I would rather get something motorized. The idea of towing sometimes is uh, is not good. Uh, like for serendipity, you know, sometimes I want to stop at one place, but I haven't decided yet. If, if we're gonna if, uh, keep towing forever, and I get something better than you know there Kia it's there if I get something better than Kia because Kia because it has a hard time sometimes uh, towing this thing when I get a proper truck I'm, I might get a, a something a little bigger maybe a 20 21 footer uh, you are so cool thank you man nice channel keep it up do you cook a lot or eat out when you're on vacation oh it depends if I'm at the Florida Keys where the, the, there's so much good seafood uh, we usually go out but usually breakfast happens in the RV and uh, I, I keep promising that cooking show and uh, I'm gonna make it happen at some point uh, by the way probably Tuesdays I'm gonna do like cooking not the size of the RV is where you drive it that's right man small house huge backyard and that's uh, and that's uh, a <laughs> salsero hasta los huesos alright man uh, hit me up when, when you are come to Florida man we, we gotta hang out um, where are you planning on going this summer? Well, for the, uh, those of you who haven't heard, I'm going uh, somewhere, and I should look at the map because I have so. Let me, let me show you how I plan the trips a little bit somehow. And I keep losing uh, uh, subscribers for some reason. That's really sad. Oh boy. Um, let me show you my map here. I have it in the iPad. Go to Vegas. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Vegas. Uh, definitely. So here's Miami. And you see all the, all the all those little points are stars. Those are places where I want to go. So the idea is to take the, this corridor and have a bunch of stars here. This is Nashville. This is St. Louis, Missouri. And I'm, I'm planning uh, anywhere around. I'm sorry, anywhere around this corridor. Here's uh, Nashville. Here's St. Louis. Around those stars, that's prime location uh, for the for the solar eclipse. And. Um, Anywhere, I, ha I have no plans because why, why, why if I go to Nashville and it's cloudy in Nashville, I have four, I have wheels. 
if, if, if that the, the day before it looks uh, it looks like it's gonna be cloudy in Nashville, I'll just drive west. I don't care. I'll go all the way to Nebraska if I have to. <laughs> Probably not, but you know what I mean. <laughs> How many states you travel to? Okay, that's easy. And uh, let me show you. Let me change camera so it's easier for me. Here's my map. Not all of them with this trailer, of course. Obviously, I'm from Florida. And all this I've traveled with the trailer uh, up to all this, the, the, the Northeastern Corridor. I did it with the RV. I mean, with uh, it was just a road trip with my car. And since Delaware, we just drove, you know, the, the few miles that that you drive while going through Wilmington. I didn't, I, I didn't think it counted. Same with in Pennsylvania. We just drove through, so no. Uh, and then this area that this was the Four Corners uh, road trip that we did, but I didn't put in New Mexico because we didn't really go to New Mexico. We just we just stepped on New Mexico at the Four Corners monument. And then California, we did a road trip, and I've been to Las Vegas, Nevada, a couple of times, and we also did a, an epic trip to. Um, is there more you want to see in Utah? Yeah, of course. You know what? You know what I missed in Utah? Uh, uh, Zion National Park of all places. So yeah. I, I do uh, I do have a couple of places to uh, left to visit in Utah. The map you just showed is that an app of some kind, a uh, program where you track the places you want to go. No, that, no that's just Google Maps. That's just Google Maps. Uh, there, there's a feature that you can, uh, if you are signed in with your username, you can add the places you want to go to or uh, start the places or what have you. Do you plan to drive to Las Vegas and how long does it take? Um, yeah, that's gonna take at least two weeks to drive from here to Las Vegas. Actually, next year, for uh, actually, it's gonna be in June. The idea is to go to VidCon, which is the conference for uh, uh, YouTube uh, producers. I don't know, the lighting is really bad here. Maybe if I turn on there. Uh, it's it's the conference for for YouTubers. So yeah, I plan to that, that was that was that's gonna be my first cross country road trip if all goes well. And the map of the stickers I bought at a Camping World, but it was, it was not the store store. It was at the at the RV show. You know they have like a pop up Camping World in one of the at the Tampa RV show, which is arguably together with the Pennsylvania show the biggest in the nation. Do you plan to drive? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is thundering in Park City, Utah right now. It's been thunder. Last night, you wouldn't believe how many thunders we have. Is there more? I'm trying to... Hope to see you in Las Vegas. Yeah, definitely, Salvador. Uh, where did you buy this sticker? Yes, I bought... Uh, I, I already said that. Nashville, it's warm. I love Nashville, man. We were in Nashville uh, last year, around this time, a little earlier in the year. And... Uh, I wanted to see more. We would, we were just there for one night because the idea was it was it was that long uh, whirlwind uh, trip with it to, to Chicago. There is a the great Derek Queen near Zion's near town Scorpio. Okay, you have stickers, but how about a beer cozy to sell? I gotta get maybe I'll I'll I'll, I'll get a little more mer merchandise. How about a, a free my RV T-shirt? I'm think I've been thinking of selling those two and the koozie for sure, um, a branded koozie. Now that I have a little more time to to uh, to take care of the the business part of this, I'm gonna start doing a lot uh, more of those things. How many people are we watching? Sixty people watching. Oh my God! I saw today there was a massive 200 foot sinkhole in Florida. Yeah, that was by Tampa, right? I, I saw it in the news. Uh, they're they're not common, but if you think about it, most of Florida is is stolen from the swamp. You know, it's we were not meant to build stuff in this area, so anything can happen. I mean, we are right at the sea level here in Miami. Uh, hope you come to Connecticut one day. We love you. Oh, thank you, Lucy. Robertico beer. Actually, I'm dry. Let me get a little more. Actually, I do have. I'm gonna give a free plug to my bud, to my buddy um, Brian from RV Illustrated. He sent me these cruises a while back, and um, they're cool. He's a cool guy. 
I'm hoping to interview him for the podcast uh, one of these days. <clears throat> I wish I lived in Florida. Salvador, come to New Mexico. I live there. Yeah, New Mexico. I, I can't wait to go to New Mexico. You know, I've seen more or less half of the states and I want to see the rest. You know, I just turned 46 years old and I want to visit the lower 48 before I turn 48 and I'm running out of time. The Grey Farm loves your videos. She says hello. Hello, The Grey Farm. The, no, The Grey Fam. All right. <laughs> Buying a Mini 2017, so excited. Hey, good luck. Uh, they're, they're, all RVs have their, their little kinks and defects when they um, when they come out of the factory. But once you, let me do something here. Once you tighten all the screws that they forgot to tighten at the factory, these Minis are very nice. Just make sure that yours comes with a uh, water heater with a tank. Don't get the tankless water heater, no matter what they tell you. My wife wants an Airstream. Help me convince her we can get more features for less money with a less prestige brand. The only thing with the Airstream is going to last you forever. But uh, yeah, for, for the money, uh, you, you, you get a more camping bang uh, for your buck here. <laughs> with a Cuban twist. <laughs> yep. Beer with a cerveza. Se me sube la cabeza. If you... You, some of you will know what that means. I need me an RV shirt. Me, me and my RV shirt. I'm, I'm going to work on those soon. Cheers, pop that top. <laughs> Every time I go down, I go to Tampa Bay Brewing Company in Ybor. We passed by it, but it was dead. It was like only two people there. And I did one. I wanted to have a beer, but Ybor it, it felt kind of dead. It's kind of sad because it's a very historic uh, uh, area of Tampa, but, but yeah. What's your nationality, dude? I was born in Cuba. You're so young. Oh, thank you. How's the climate in Florida? It's extremely hot and humid this time of the year. Uh, it's beautiful in February here. February is the best month. I, I love Florida in February. I think if, when I start full-timing, when we start full-timing, I think I'm gonna spend my Februarys in in South Florida, and the rest of the year somewhere else. Great radio voice, my friend. Ah, and I don't have my my nice uh, uh, microphone that I have in the studio. I have to figure out a way to to put it here with, without occupying too much space, so I can do the voiceovers from here. Cuando vengas a Kissimmee, Florida, me avisas para saludarte. No te veo desde que cerré el Facebook. Okay, Jose Gonzalez. Sure. I'll, I'm. Uh, I'm I might go by kissing me on the way north now that I'm going to the to see the eclipse in uh, August. But we don't know. I mean, we I have two two major actually about kissing me, kissing me. We we've been to kissing me so many times because when we, we, we uh, you know 25 years ago we were uh, fresh off the raft, if you will. <laughs> We didn't come in a raft, but you know, it's a, it's a figurative of a speech. We had just arrived, we, we didn't have much money, so what we did when we went to Disney World, we rented in Kissimmee, and hotels back then in the, in the early 90s were like, what, 30 bucks a night? It was it was uh, very, very affordable. So, um, so yeah, I've, I've been to Kissimmee, and I've seen it evolve. It, the, the Kissimmee of 1991 is nothing compared to the Kissimmee of nowadays. And, and there's a very nice RV park, the, the Royal Palm or the something like that is called. Very nice. It's a little pricey, but you are like very excited. Hola, sir. Traveling Robert can stay long, but howdy. Hey, howdy, Eric. Good good to see you here, man. Uh, sing us a song, Robert. Riding, riding in my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free. Hey, my RV. Hello from Joy and Bert. How does your AC do in extreme heat? It's doing fine, thank you. It's doing great. I mean, I'm not in Arizona or Texas or it's 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 it never goes above in the nineties here, but it's extremely humid. But it's cooling off. Uh, it's cooling really nice right now, and I don't even have it at the maximum setting. I have it in the you know in the lowest uh, fan setting, and it's fine. It's perfect. Bar Harbor in Maine, uh, it's a must for you. Yeah, I, I, I can't wait to visit Maine. Uh, 
so, so, I've seen so many beautiful pictures and my, my friend Brandy Champagne, he's a viewer of the channel too, he's invited me a couple of times. Would you ever live in an RV full time? Well, that's the idea. I don't know if something this small will, will be enough, but uh, yeah. We've seen we, we, we've seen like the new Heimer uh, Active and the Winnebago Travato and they're even smaller than this inside. So who knows? Cheers, Robert from Paulo Campos, Emily Treviso. Hi, uh, City of No Pity too. Salud, Papo. Solo necesito un draguito de cabeza. Uh, draguito de cabeza. Ah, de cerveza. There you go. Salud. You know what happens after you're 40? You cannot read with glasses or without glasses. It's, it's, it's really uh, disconcerting. Hey, Emily Tereviso. Sing us for us live. Yeah, sing live. You know, I should have brought my guitar from the house. Next Friday, I'm going to do that. Te veo Nuevo México. That's your favorite place to ever... You, have you ever visited or want to visit? Well, my favorite place... And I haven't been all that many places, but my favorite place is Alaska, man. Alaska is beautiful. In the lower 48, we liked, uh, I liked Kentucky a lot. I, maybe because I have family there, but the people are nice. I mean, I had a good time. Uh, but yeah, Alaska is uh, out of this world. I mean, Utah too, of course. And uh, California to visit. I don't know if I want to live there, but to visit California. Do you have a favorite soccer team? You know, uh, oddly enough, I'm not really much into sports. When I lived in Spain, I used to like the Real Madrid, but that was uh, 30 years ago. <laughs> Battery we're running out, sorry. To live all right, Jose. See you, see you next time. It's raining in New Mexico so hard. Uh, it's, here it's been raining now. We, we're getting nice weather for the first time. In, oh, look at that. Nice weather. Very good, very good. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Give me a shout out. Hey, Emily Treviso. Shout out to you. Robert, gracias. Oh no, greetings. <laughs> I'm already mixing Spanish and English. Don't, don't mind me. Greetings from Netherlands European tour. Well, there's this guy that, that I that I know in Finland, and he rents uh, RVs or uh, caravans, as they are called in Europe. So, who knows? Maybe next year, in a couple of years, I'll, I'll go and then do a European RV tour. That would be awesome. Eventually, I also want to do a Camino de Santiago which is uh, this uh, pilgrimage, uh, it's, uh, you do it from France, from uh, this town in the in the Pyrenees Mountains, uh, in the Pyrenees called saint jean pied de port and you go all the way to Santiago de Compostela, Compostela which is, uh, the, okay, Santiago is St. James in English, and it, it's a walk, you know, you walk like for 45 days, and it's supposed to be like very nice, because you, you, you uh, stop at every little town at night, and you, uh, uh, you know, they have wine and tapas, very nice. Ever get a carpenter ants in camper? Uh, we finally got rid of ours. They got near the waterline. No, we haven't had any ants. We haven't had any, any uh, critters issues uh, here. We had ants at the beginning, but I sprayed something and they're gone. No, uh, but I should. What? What's up with those? Uh, glam event style is Robert. Okay. You need uh, your own show on the Discovery Channel, you rock. You know, I used to work for Discovery Channel uh, Latin America many years ago, but nothing uh, on air, I used to, it was just commercial operations. When are you going to Alaska? Alaska's gonna have to wait a little bit because uh, on the RV, uh, my tow vehicle is not gonna make it. I, I, I wouldn't trust uh, uh, driving Kia, unless I replace like every essential part but still, in, in the in the hills, it's no good. And the and the and the Alaska Highway and the Alcan, they, they they have some some steep hills that I might not be able to. So that's two or three years uh, down the line. But I do want to go back to Alaska, really, really, really bad. Hello from New Brunswick, Canada. We love your show. Hello, Robert, all the way from Toronto, Canada, Mexicali, Mexico. All right, yes, maybe I'll cross the border into Mexicali one one of these days uh, when I'm in that area. Hello, Robert. Greeting from William in Bruges, Belgium. Love your videos. Great job you're doing there, buddy. Yeah, I was in Bruges. Uh, and I'm going to po post that video as one of my throwback videos uh, soon. But yeah, that was, that was a, a, a really, really cool trip we did. Very short. We took like a week and we uh, went to Bruges and Amsterdam and, and Dusseldorf. But very nice town. Very, very nice beer. 
talking about beer. How is the generator doing? Use it much? I haven't used it yet. Uh, I've been testing. I did, I've used it for like an hour. Maybe after Sebastian Inlet, I will do a trip where, where I force myself to boondock and I'll, I'll test it like overnight or something. I don't know. And the next trip, uh, we're going to go to, up to Sebastian Inlet, which is by Melbourne, Florida. And uh, then the large, the big trip, I already mentioned that earlier, that's uh, for the solar eclipse. And by the way, after, the, after we see the solar eclipse, we might cross the Smoky Mountains into um, Asheville. We want to see that Billmore uh, place that has like a winery and the Chimney Rock. And we might even drive all the way to the coast. I don't know. I don't know yet. It's burning hot in Las Vegas. I, I bet it probably is, yeah. Saludos from Los Angeles, California. That's another place that I really like, to Los Angeles. Maybe not to live, but, but to, to, to visit. It's a very neat place. Some people don't like it, but I, I thought it has a, had a certain glamour uh, to it. That I. Uh, how is the new table? What do you think? It's working out great. We, we, the, the chairs are not exactly the most comfortable things. Uh, we, we are yet to find uh, a, a chair that it's almost like a sofa, you know, this is fine to work, but to be sitting here for extended period of time, it's a work in progress, but the table works great, this is just version 1.0, the, the, my original idea is to have it like the, the separation here, so we have a, a permanent area up to here, and then this will be the part that f folds down, and then down here, we would have like a cabinet, you know, storage in this area above the, the wheel well and that's the idea with the table thing I need to go bye bye Emily I'm in sunrise be cool to pick your brain one of these days in España trabajan para vivir no viven para trabajar sos un ídolo alright uh, he said that in Spain they work to live not they don't live to work and yeah you deserve billion subscribers I'm talking about subscribers let's see how we're doing because I was losing subscribers a minute ago and by the way, I want to talk to you about uh, something that um, I've been hesitant to talk about. Okay, we're back to 29.824. I opened a Patreon account because um, maybe some of you would, uh, would like to receive something extra, extra perks from me. And if, if you want to, I mean, I, I feel kind of uncomfortable uh, asking for money. I'm not asking for money. I want to give you something of value if, if, if you... Uh, but what, what I did for now, I, I, I opened my Patreon account, here it is, <laughs> like everybody else. And um, I have three tiers, you can become a patron for one dollar, and what I give you is access to Patreon only content, which you might be able to, to see like like deleted scenes and stuff like that, and connect with other patrons. Then you have the, the ten dollar, which you get a private live stream, access to Patreon and all that, and, uh, and then... The, 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 the top stream, you, you got to be an executive producer of the show. It's just, uh, it's an idea that, I, that I'm uh, playing with. Talk about gadgets. No shame in Patreon, it's if your shows, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I'm, uh, it's there if you guys want to contribute. Uh, just go to patreon.com slash travelingrobert and... Uh, and if you have any suggestions of something that you would like to receive in exchange uh, for supporting uh, the work that I do, uh, just send me an email, robert at travelingrobert.com. Puss in boots, lol, yeah. Okay, well, we're being on for 34 minutes. If you guys uh, want to know anything else in speci in, in, in specifically, your videos are something of, of value. We all want to support you all. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's great, and of course I have the, the CDs and the, and, the, um, and the stickers for sale, and I'm gonna start selling like t-shirts and stuff if you guys see there. I pay 100 a year for access to private Facebook group for essential oils. Talking about essential oils. Check it out what I have here. These are essential oils, but to get rid of mosquitoes, citronella. A bunch of stuff I would say, <laughs> you know, this guy. Okay, we have a couple more. Oh, sorry, the beer must be have to go by. Keep the good work. Thank you, Salvador uh, Lee Warden. 
I don't understand. Uh, do you think a 30-foot travel trailer will be difficult to drive around from your experience? Well, I drive a 19-foot travel trailer and it is very easy. It just goes uh, behind the car. I, I suppose the longer you are, the more you have to like keep in mind that you are towing like 30 feet behind you. So, I don't know, I've never towed something that large. The, the, the longest RV I've driven is a 27-foot uh, Class C. Don't go too private. <laughs> Are you affected by the king tides every year? Is Miami sinking? I don't know, I mean, Miami Beach has flooded periodically since I've been here. Maybe it's doing it a little more now, I don't know. But um, Miami is sinking. It's a it's a known fact, you know that the, the the there's the continental drift and some areas of the of the world are sinking and some areas are rising up and Miami is one of the ones that is sinking. So eventually we might be like Venice, you know, <laughs> we'll trade our cars for boats. Who knows? Okay, can't talk brands on here. I don't know. I didn't understand. Uh, mind brands if you want to plug something that, that you're selling it's fine with me but um, I mean it's not what this is for but it's fine do a wine and beer video review that would be cool and that would be fun love this ticket bye now have a great week okay everybody you know fly pelican <laughs> somebody wants me to say that I hear you say every time you say it, but I can make You know, I'm a fan of that movie, the, the Scarface movie. And when uh, Tony Montana sees the flamingos on um, on the screen, Colleen Wolf commented on the link traveling Robert shared. Okay. I'm very ADD. When Tony Montana says, hey, all the money, look at the pelican fly. So that's what I say. That's why I say it every time. Appreciate your champion generator review and looking forward to your upgrades and maintenance. Yes. Lee Warden is a town in the Netherlands, so we you are seen all over the world. That's great. Essential oil brands, sure from Belgium. Belgium, we were there. No, we were in, in uh, oh drank my last shimei for today. I forgot to buy shimei. Next time I'm gonna have a shimei, I promise. Any chance of traveling in Pakistan? There's always a chance, man, but not in the near future. Eventually I wanna travel the whole world. But traveling is expensive, and for now, <laughs> hey Richard, you're funny man. Is that rubber juice you're drinking? No, that's this is. Uh, well, this is a cozy from my friend uh, Arvin Illustrated from from North Carolina. But I'm having a, a Cigar City High Life from Tampa. Bye, Robert. Headed to Las Vegas tonight. All right, everybody. I think everybody is no, not everybody is leaving. We have 69 people watching, and. Um, Look for the pelicans fly. There you go. My granddaughter loves it when you say fly pelican. My son loves your theme song and always sings it. Uh, you can give a shout out to James. Hey James, riding with my RV wherever I want to be. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna call it off because I am on. Actually, I am on 4G LTE because the the Wi-Fi in the house is probably too far. So, uh, I, I, man, yeah, I should continue um, answering. Different types of Cuban coffee now. That's just the same. It's just a couple of brands that we like. And they're all made by the same people. Maybe I should try to get a, a, a sponsorship by, by Roland Coffee, which makes uh, Bustelo and, uh, and uh, Pilon. We want to caravan with you. Blue, blue, you're such a funny guy. You keep making great videos. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to... It's nights falling, and uh, as long as as much as I like to hang out with you here in the RV happy hour, maybe I'll go to another happy hour. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next time. Oh, I toured through a lot of Latin America. You know, grand, ooh, there's a bee. Ooh, there's a bee here. <laughs> Restaurant reviews, yes. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. See you on the road. And I'm riding, riding with my RB.